God's will here because there are people that are homosexual, rebelling against God. God sent us here today because there are straight people out here that are defending these homosexuals. And the scripture tells me that if you're a straight person defending these homosexuals, if they go to hell, that blood is on your hands and the worst judgment will come to you. We don't want anybody to go to hell. We come out here in love today. Because we want you to go to heaven. There's only one way to heaven. And that's through Jesus Christ and His teachings. Let me tell you what Jesus Christ said. His first sermon was to repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent means to turn away. I got two ladies trying to listen. I had a man sneak up behind them trying to talk to them. I hope that he cares for their soul like we do. We're out here because we care for their souls. This man here does not care for these two ladies' souls, and I feel bad for them. I hope you receive the gospel of Jesus Christ today. Hell is a real place. Hell is a place that was created for the devil and his angels. But hell is a place that you'll find yourself if you don't repent of your wicked ways and turn to God. You have to repent. The scripture says there will be no idolater, no adulterer, nor fornicator, nor homosexual that will enter into the kingdom of heaven. None of them. You have to get your life right. There are people out here that say that will say that Jesus is about love and acceptance. You're reading the wrong Bible. Jesus never preached acceptance. Jesus does not want acceptance. Jesus preaches love and repentance. He wants you to turn because He loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus' first sermon was repent. Jesus was on the cross with some thieves. There were two thieves with him. He told one of the thieves that they'll go to heaven with him because he admitted that he was a sinner and he turned from his ways. The other one would not deny that he was wrong. I pray that you just hear this this afternoon because we want you to go to heaven. Somebody was asking earlier that they want to hear from God. They want to hear personally from God. Well, you're hearing personally from God because the scripture says, how can they hear without a preacher? And he sent eight or nine preachers out here today preaching to you. And if you've chosen to not listen to any of these preachers, you're denying God. He sent these preachers here because he loved you enough. I want to tell you about Jesus Christ for a minute. Young man, what would you say about free will? Free will. You came out of your own free will. He didn't send you. I came out of my free will because the scripture tells me to go out to all the world and preach the gospel. And the scripture says that you cannot go to heaven without knowing about Jesus Christ. And how can they know about Jesus Christ unless somebody preach it? Yes, sir, I didn't understand your word you're saying. I hope you understand me this afternoon when I'm trying to tell you about Jesus Christ. We've got a young man mocking here. I hope that that's the Holy Spirit convicting his heart, making him want to mock and making him want to make fun. Uh, were you mocking too, sir? I appreciate you admitting your sin. Why don't you admit your other sins in homosexuality or supporting those that are homosexual? Supporting definitely, but considering it's not a sin, then I'm well, it, it, Sir, you really need to stop masturbating. It is a sin because sin. the Bible says it's it is a sin. The scripture says it is abomination. It's good cleansing. In Proverbs, it says that there are six things that God hates and seven are an abomination. One of those is homosexuality. We want you to understand that God cares for your soul. God is not supporting what you're doing. What do you know about God? Sir? Homo means one. And then sexuality, as you know. So is it bad to be with another human being? Homosexuality, homosexuality of the Bible is a man land with a man and a woman land with a woman. It's in 1 Corinthians chapter 6. It's Romans chapter 1. It's Romans chapter 8. It's in Leviticus. It's in Deuteronomy. We're out here trying to tell you what God says. We want you to accept Jesus Christ. We want you to come to Him. Hallelujah. We're reading a book that is 2,000 years old. It is awesome that my God has a book that's lasted for 2,000 years and it's still true. And people are out here today telling you that homosexuality is okay. And it's never been true. 
It's never been okay. It's against God, ma'am. I don't think you're okay. I think you're just okay. I think you're just okay. There was a... There was a rich man sitting at a table and his crumbs fell onto the floor. Lazarus wanted these crumbs. Well, the rich man found himself in hell and Lazarus in heaven. And the rich man looked up at Lazarus and Abraham and said, let me go back and tell my brothers. Let me go back and tell my family about this place called hell. And he said, no, you can't go back because we've sent the prophets and the preachers. Let them hear them. We're out here today preaching so that you can understand about God. God will speak to you if you accept Jesus Christ in your heart and if you'll repent of your ways and just ask Him to forgive you. Now, I'm not talking about just saying you're sorry. I'm not talking about some Sunday school class, Lord, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I'm talking about true repentance, which is turning away. What I did to fear hell so much is understand that God is real. I understand that God will cast me into hell if I backslide, if I walk away from Him, and if I do things that's sinful against Him. I'm without sin right now. I have repented of my sins. Jesus Christ has covered my sins. Ma'am? Yes, God told me that Himself in the Scripture. He says we're no more sinners. We're righteous through the blood of Jesus Christ. There's people that, there's a guy that yes, it was written 2,000 years ago, and it's still true today. Just like many of your science books, just like many of your other books that you believe and you read. Yes. Men are imperfect, men are imperfect, right? That's a question I have. Say that again. And if men wrote the Bible and stuff, then... Because you had your daughter. Because then, like, sorry, I don't there's see why odds, that's relevant. odds are there is some, like, typo or error with it, right? I don't know if you're going to hell or not. That's between you and God. God is the one that's going to judge you. Yeah, like, And the scripture says he's going to judge you according the to your being. When they heard it from and the scripture God, says that if you know we Jesus don't know Christ, he will be a mediator like, before you or before God. Trying to manipulate it because men are imperfect and, and they're afraid. Your side they were taken you know by Jesus Lucifer, Christ. right? And if so who knows if they like wrote something a bit different or they were like, well, you see, I might have done something bad, so I'm going to adjust it to that way. I'm, I'm good. We preach to the people in our church every Sunday. Yeah, but if men were to tell you, Jesus Christ, we don't know that. Jesus Christ died for your sin. Because if you're, if you're supporting homosexuality, if you have pride, or if you are homosexual, you have sin in your life, and you're not repentant. When I sin, I ask God for forgiveness. If you would like to ask for forgiveness and like to get saved, we have several preachers out here today that would like to talk to you. Sad fact is, none of you are going to do it. You're, none of you are going to go to these preachers and talk to them. None of you are going to try to get your life right. How do you know that none of us want to talk? Any other questions? God's child, they weren't married. So I think I thank my God that Jesus was born out of wedlock. That is fantastic. So God just because He was born of the Holy Spirit. God put Jesus in the womb of Mary. That is the virgin birth, and that makes Him sinless. Because sin comes into into a man at birth. Jesus was sinless because He was not born of man. I want to ask you a question. The bloodline. They say any sin is forgiven. Um, are you being like a little bit yeah, yeah, like one of the biggest offenses uh, is not judge your neighbor? Okay, besides that, any, well, any other sin is forgiven, right? Well, when you look at those right? churches that talk about judgment, it means then condemning people. I can't send you to hell, like, but I can tell you the truth. You know, exactly. And I can tell you that the Bible like, says homosexuality is wrong. And I can tell you that the Bible says that you'll be judged according to your deeds. And if it does not find you righteous, you'll go to hell. It is your own heart that judges you. It is your own heart. I will say, if you do not have your life right with Jesus Christ, you're going to hell. He still the Bible says that. The scripture says that it is a shame for a man to have long hair. Yes, it is a shame. And I like your hair, though. I like your hair. But I wonder, are you ashamed of your deeds and if you would repent? No, I think Jesus is gay. Hold on. Hey. That's why, like, when he got stoned to that cross.
Like, I, I, will, like, I will tell you this, if you think Jesus is gay, that's a bad thing, but I hope you don't blaspheme the Holy Spirit, because the Scripture says blaspheming the Holy Spirit is worse. Let me tell you what blaspheming the Holy Spirit is. You're hearing about Jesus Christ, you're denying Jesus Christ, you're blaspheming the Holy Spirit, and that's unforgivable. You cannot be forgiven for that. Judging, we are told that we're supposed to exercise righteous judgment in the scripture. It tells us we are supposed to go out and correct the sinner in his way. It says if you will turn a sinner to a repentance, then you will cover a multitude of sins. I'm a preacher. If I don't preach to you, your blood is on my hands. Okay, I have a question. There are people out here that don't love you enough to tell you the truth. I, have, I have a question. Okay, yes. the Old Testament says when you get a divorce, you're supposed to steal the wife. But that's not in practice anymore. So what, how are you to say that homosexuality is not allowed? Because we're not. If we're not stoning the wife. Because we're not out here throwing stones, we're out here telling you of the judgment of God. The judgment of God has not changed. Jesus told the woman when they laid down the stones, He said, where are your accusers? She said, they will. He said, neither do I confuse you, but go, or neither do I accuse you, but go and sin no more. Jesus told her to sin no more. We're out here telling you today to go and sin no more.